life and off. Welcome back to another card video. Today I am working on day two of my holiday card series and my second card using the Snowflake Sentiments bundle from the 2017 holiday catalog. If you need a catalog, make sure you follow the link in the description box down below and you can request one. So um, if you missed yesterday's video, that was the first video in the series and I mentioned that I will be doing um, five cards a week until December 15th. So <laughs> I'm going to do my best to spend two full weeks or 10 cards at least um, using each bundle so I can show you how to really get the most out of your stamp sets. So let's get started. Yesterday I had a little bit more involved card in case you missed it. Let me show it to you. And don't forget to head over to my blog for a chance to win um, this card. And there's also a card kit that I'm giving away. Um, and that was just a way to kick off the card series and to say thank you. The rest of the cards, I haven't quite decided. They may be up for sale in my Etsy shop. I don't know. I'll let you know. You guys let me know down below if you would be interested in purchasing them. Okay. So I'm using the Snowflake Sentiments. As I mentioned, I'm going to be using the Season Green stamp set. And I'm going to be using this framelit again, thinlit framelit, I'm not sure what they're calling it. And we're going to cut two pieces of real red. Then I'm going to be using this label to cut a piece of basic black. And I'm using this, so I'm using this designer series paper and this is from the Christmases Around the World designer series paper. I love this plaid, it speaks to me. So all of the measurements and recipe will be over on the blog, so you can hover, head over there following the link in the description box. If it's not there yet, um, give it a day or so and it'll go live. My card base today is basic black. I cut it at four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half, and then I have a whisper white card layer that measures four by five and a quarter. I have this that measures three and seven eighths. No, it doesn't. Three and three quarters by five and a half. Oh my word. And then I just have two pieces of real red that measure um, five and a half long. They have varying widths because what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a border for this piece of designer series paper. And then I'm going to use this label from the lots of labels to cut out a piece of basic black for our sentiment. So let me start by doing the die cutting. I'm going to bring in my big shot for you. I don't have to worry about using the precision base plate like I did yesterday because we're not using precision dies. I am using my magnetic platform just because I have it here. So I'm going to start by cutting one of these. And I just really want to make sure that it's not hanging off. Oh, Misty. Yellow. Ooh, I need some new coding pens. Don't mind, they're just well loved. <laughs> so I would rather spend my money on other things. You guys get like that, don't you? You're like, oh, I really need this, but I would much rather have, like, I don't need groceries. I'd much rather have a new mirror for my entryway. Legit used to happen. <laughs> when I was in college, I would much rather buy home goods then worry about buying, I may have cut that too short. Then worry about buying, you know, food, books. <laughs> All the days of college. I don't know if you guys knew, I don't know that I've ever talked about this on this channel, but I put myself through college. Like I worked full time and went to school full time for nine years um, and it took me nine years because I went ahead and got an associate's degree and then I had to quit to take care of my grandmother while she was sick and passing away. So it was a long, journey. a long, long journey. All right guys, I am back and to no surprise to anybody, I screwed up. <laughs> I was cutting out that um, border. I knew they looked different, but I don't know why I did not put two and two together. But yes, I, I cut a new one. So my thought was, it would go something like that. These little pokey pokes. I'm thinking about doing a weekly bloopers video. What do you guys think? 
Is that something you would be interested in? Alright, let me go ahead and put some snail adhered. And I want to be able to make this as even as possible. This way down to looks like two and a half. Sorry guys, I had to cut it down. I don't know what I was thinking. That'll work. Okay, it'll just poke off a little bit. Like, oh yeah, I got this. No problem. I this I designed this exactly how I want it in my head, and then slide that under. I'm just going to use my scissors to trim out the overage. I'm going to go ahead and put this down with a snail. Alright, let's bring in our stamp and our embossing buddy. For some mark. Doesn't really matter if it's upside down or not, I guess. But miss the G. Let's try again. Oh, because there's something on it. <sighs> I 
And this is why you do all this before you <laughs> attach it so it's not completely screwed on up the whole card. It's not like I deliberately make mistakes as some people would have you guess. <laughs> I don't. I just, I get either ahead of myself or I get too excited. Alright, I'm going to heat this with my heat tool and I will be right back. Second to cool down. Then I'm gonna add some dimensionals on the back. All right, let's add some of our clear faceted gems. Ooh. Do you know what I want to do? <laughs> I really want to add some white stitching, but I'm not going to. I really need other white. I'm going to. Oh, dude. straight edges. There. Okay. That way the white and the sentiment kind of makes sense. I mean it really was supposed to suppose it really was intended to look somewhat like a chalkboard greeting. So there we go. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. And this is day two. Let me know what you think of this card in the um, comments down below. You can find the products link in the description along with the coordinating blog post. Don't forget the holiday card, uh, excuse me, the holiday catalog products don't go live for customers until September 1st. Make sure you head on over to the Facebook group so you can join my stamp and jamma party. We are gonna party like it's nine. <laughs> in my Facebook group on September 1st. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're new here, I hope you subscribe and stick around. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.